up everybody, Philip Lombardi here, the Atlanta Honda guy, and today I'm sitting in a 2017 Honda Civic EXL, and it has the capability to pair to Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. A lot of people don't know how to pair to the Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and show you guys how to pair to a Wi-Fi source, whether it be a public source, a uh, mobile hotspot on your phone or tablet or anything like that. It's actually pretty easy and it's uh, pretty neat because you can just surf the web straight on your touch screen. So before I jump into it, if you guys could help me out, like this video if you enjoy it, and leave a comment in the uh, in the section below, or if you have any questions or concerns, you can leave it down there in the comments as well. And then as always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I hope you guys enjoy this video and learn a little bit from it. And uh, if you have any questions, again, any questions, concerns, anything like that, leave them in the comments below. But let's get straight into it. Okay, so we're looking at the main touch screen here, and what you're going to have to do is go into settings first, and you're gonna to have to go over to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. You're gonna click that. And then you're gonna to wanna to go down here and click Wi-Fi on off status. Normally on a brand new car, it's gonna be set to off. You're gonna to wanna to turn it on. So you're gonna to wanna to read through this and hit next. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. And that's gonna turn on the whole Wi-Fi system. Okay, and then it's gonna to connect to whatever device you choose. You're gonna to wanna to go through here and hit yes. And now that that's on, you want to go down to your Wi-Fi device list. And that's going to give you all of the sources that the car can find right now. Um, there are going to be a few public Wi-Fi sources around you, and then a few, or mainly a lot, that are locked. So to get the best connection here, I just went ahead and paired it to my phone and my mobile hotspot before I did this video uh, to get the best connection. So I'm just going to go in here and click this. And I had to punch in the password already before I did the video. So you, you, may, you may or may not have to do that uh, depending on the device that you're using. So I have the options to connect, disconnect, and delete the device. I'm already connected, so we're gonna go ahead and just back out of here. But that's where you would choose all of your sources. So now we're gonna hit the home button. And we're going to hit this little circle icon right here. And that's gonna bring us into this back screen here where you have a few other options and controls and things you can choose from. So along with calculator, picture gallery, you have browser, kind of like you would find on an iPhone or any kind of smartphone. So we're gonna go ahead and click this. And it's pretty neat because your car is basically a computer on wheels. Um, I don't know any other car that you can surf the web on or get onto a source like this and get actually onto the internet. So you're gonna go over here and you're going to click this tab button. And that's where you can add separate windows or separate um, tabs just like a phone you're gonna want to go into there and then you're gonna click up here and that's where you're gonna enter in your website name or wherever you would want to go so for example I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that out and search or type in your URL so www.google.com let's see what that brings up so there you go now you're on the internet okay you can literally do everything that you could on your computer right from there Okay. You can scroll up and down just like a tablet. You can click into it and type. So for example here, we're gonna go up to the URL again. We're gonna delete that out. Let's see if this works. We're gonna go to my website real quick. AtlantaHondaGuy.com and see if it pulls up other pages. It may take a few minutes to load, just depending on the speed of your uh, Wi-Fi, the signal that you have. It looks like it's still loading. But I have people who buy cars and they do work out of their vehicles, and it's great because they literally can get onto their, their work pages or whatever they use or some Excel spreadsheets and, and do their work in their car. There you go, so I pulled up my website and you can scroll and see everything in there. It's still loading. It may be a little slower than a normal computer, but you get the gist of it. You get the idea. So there you go, guys. That's how you would get onto the internet and uh, use the Wi-Fi in the brand new Hondas. Anything with this touchscreen interface is gonna have it. Again, the 2018 Odysseys are gonna have built-in Wi-Fi, but any of the 2017 Hondas with this interface, you can access outside Wi-Fi. Um, sources. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you like the video or you have any questions, 
uh, like the page, like the video, and then leave a comment on the page below. And then um, again, as always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys and have a good one.